thinking there we're in, in another kind of subconscious situation it's giving very much D&D &D. and uh, yeah let's see what's gonna happen Snipo roll for charisma Peter do I have to <sighs> That was to be expected. Snippo is just about the ugliest dope you've ever seen. <sighs> what? Okay. Uh -huh. Hello, Lily Grim. Would you like to be amused by my funny pranks? Then watch me. And are you amused? So amused. Wow. See what attack? Oh, I can attack him. Goblins, juggle, sleep. I'm gonna pick juggle. Um, yes. It doesn't just look like it. I am actually juggling only one ball, and I know how ridiculous that must seem. My character sheet said that I, <clears throat> I, the comical Snippo, have the marvelous ability to juggle 55 balls at once. But as much as I would have liked to imagine what such a thing would look like, the mysterious traveler thought I should just juggle one ball instead, because it's much more contemplative. And as long as my shame or boredom doesn't cause me to spontaneously combust, then I'll stick to that. If you have a better suggestion... Oh my goodness. 55 balls. 3 balls. Stay with one ball. No balls. I'm saying no, because maybe he gives us the ball. <laughs> You think I should try it without any balls? Bravo. You found the only way to increase my boredom even more. On the other hand, if I juggle without a ball, I might be able to take a quick nap. No one seems to object to sleeping around here. All right. Look at me go. It's a normal-sized juggling ball. That's all I can say about it. I don't have my compendium of juggling balls with me. It's funny because I forgot the narrator got like kicked out by uh, the king, King Adrian. All right, we got a nice juggling ball here that I would like to look at. I really need to get a mouse pad. This is ridiculous. It's a no. Right, that's it's the same thing, anyways. All right, we'll put that down. So he's now asleep. Sir Drugalot looked splendid in his shiny armor. Druggle jug. Mithril armor? Really? Druggle jug. Okay, then. In his mithril armor. Wait, did I actually click Druggle Jug? I meant to click Sniper. Roll for charisma. Do I have to? That was snip. <sighs> He's asleep. Okay. Oh, there's a wood log. Okay, wait. Let me talk to Sir Druggle. Druggle lot. Druggle lot. Um. Hello, Lily Grim. You're still up? You should get some rest. I'll keep guard, and make sure the fire doesn't go out. <laughs> Don't look so grim. Your thirst for action is honorable, but the mysterious traveler is right. Strength lies in tranquility. Lilligrim felt like screaming at the brave Sir Drogolot. She hadn't traveled all the way to Goblin Gorge just to sleep, but something kept her from losing her temper. Fuming, she turned away from her companion. <laughs> Her eyes fell on the quiet traveler who had listened to the entire conversation. Was that a smile she saw beneath the hood? Alright, here we go again. Alright, um, attack, goblins, firewood sleep. I'll pick sleep. <sighs> Are you as tired as I am? Um, Are you worried about the fire? Hmm. Usually, I'd agree with you. Those few logs are certainly not enough to keep the fire burning through the night. Plus, the best things always happen to you when you go into the forest looking for firewood. You find treasure maps, fall into enchanted wells, or meet merchants with magical amulets. Maybe I should... Relax a little and call it a day. <gasps> That's what you wanted to say, right? Hmm. The traveler is right. There doesn't always have to be an adventure, and the night is pretty warm. I'll wait up to put the last log on the fire. 
Then I'll turn in too. <gasps> Wait, oh, that's not. I thought this was King Adrian for some reason. That's that's one of the demons. That's one of the Harveys. All right, goblins. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure the goblins won't attack us tonight. They're guarding their reservoir dam in the gorge. But I do wonder what their plans are. Damming up the Pink River and flooding the Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Why? It's all very mysterious. Attack? Um... Um... I know what you want to say. You're here to fight. Not to sleep, right? Maybe tonight we should. Remain calm and gather our strength. That's what you wanted to say, right? <sighs> the Traveler is right. Acting in haste is never a good idea. <laughs> Oh, so he's controlling them too, which makes sense because in the asylum we saw like somebody was making the Harvey. So of course all the other patients have probably been hypnotized by him. All right, let me keep looking around real quick. Wood log. You don't need to roll to figure that out. They're logs. And take them. Okay, I got some wood logs now. Um. Safety kettle. You see a large cauldron. Roll for perception. You discover a safety valve. Okay. I, I don't have any restrictions here, so. The campfire crackled atmospherically. Where is. Too bad. I especially burned a CD of campfire sound effects. I must have left them in the fire. Just imagine the crackling. Okay, I have an idea, but I'm going to talk to everybody first. Petrula? Petrula sat by the fire and watched the tea kettle. Briefly describe yourself. Well, I'm like a totally powerful wizard and pretty, but also totally powerful. And I'm wearing a robe in bronze. It's totally pretty, you know? Underneath the hood, I look like totally gothic, but pretty. Thanks, Petra. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> Mysterious. Um, don't startle me like that. Can't you see I'm watching the kettle? Alright, I'm just gonna straight up attack. Um, the goblins are keeping quiet. Maybe too quiet. Goblins. What could the goblins be planning? Why did they submerge one of the kingdom's greatest memorials? Underwater, something similar happened to me once. But that was an accident. But I don't really think that the royal loo can be considered a memorial. Oh, the kettle? Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm brewing a diabolical magic potion, of course. <clears throat> well, <laughs> it's actually a calming tea. I really wanted to conjure some coffee demons, but they don't let you get any sleep. And we do need our strength for the battle. Now I have to watch the kettle before it starts to whistle. The traveler has such sensitive ears. <laughs> I wonder if coffee is going to come into play here because I know that usually is what wakes us up from our subconscious. Okay, see you sleeping. <sighs> Please don't yawn so much around here. Don't you know how contagious that is? And I have to watch the kettle. Okay, I wonder if I have to put them to sleep. Watch the kettle. Oh, if you're staying up anyway. <laughs> Do you think you could watch the kettle? Oh, okay, perfect. Yes. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Oh, great. Then I can finally get some sleep. As you know, we need our strength for... Oh, oh, for the... Oh, oh. Okay, she's asleep. He's asleep. Okay, only a person who's not asleep is Sir Drag a lot, but let me talk to the mysterious NPC first. The hooded figure sat silently at the campfire. Strange. I can't remember him being in the adventure. Which source book does he come from? He comes from hell. 
it. My goodness. Who do we have here then? A little barbarian warrioress? Uh huh. I sense great anger in you. Could it be that the thirst for battle sits in this little chest? Uh huh. Then let me give you some advice. Swallow it. The most successful battle is the one that doesn't even have to be fought. So be a good little barbarian warrioress and take a nap. Lilligrim could hardly believe her ears. Wasn't this a fantasy role-playing game? What fun was there in imagining aimlessly sitting around a campfire? Lilligrim didn't dream of listening to the soothing advice of the mysterious NPC. If anything, it just made her angrier. Too bad that she had to stop herself from losing control. She would have loved to have screamed this dope's head off. All right, I'm gonna keep looking around first, and then, because like, to the Goblin Gorge, let me see what's over here real quick, before I show you my secret plan. Oh! Well, well, is that the legendary army of Hoth Mortigor? A little girl with braids? Fabulous. Oh, why so angry, little girl? You're not here to declare war, are you? It would almost make a pleasant distraction, putting your feet up and drinking tea all the time. In the long run, it's not good for my goblin army. But why should I sound the horn for battle? My scouts told me about your lazy companions. You can't possibly think you can defeat my army with those dopes. I hardly think so. As long as we are not being attacked, I'll stick to the advice of this friendly traveler. Wait and see and drink tea. <gasps> Lilligrim was boiling with rage. She was very close to throwing a tantrum, but something was holding her back. Okay, wait a second. Wait, I can't... Wait a second. That's that other area from the other part of the subconscious where that dragon was at. Also, that baked potato man. He has the coffee to wake up. Don't bother. As long as we are not being attacked. The I, just, I, I, I thought I'd be, be able to look around or something. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I might have to put Sir Drog a lot of sl to sleep. Um, I have fire for the camp fire. So he, he said he likes wood or whatever. He likes. Let me, let me just be seeing stuff here. Go easy with it, okay? The fire has to last the whole night. Sure, look at it, see. Okay. Will no one do anything? <laughs> so drug a lot. Drugle jug. In character, please. Drug. <sighs> Not yet, Lily Grim. The fire should last the whole night. All right. So I can't use this yet. All right. That wasn't even part of my plan, anyways. I feel like he has to be asleep, though. Go ahead and lie down. I'll make sure that the fire doesn't go out. No, I'll make sure the fire... Oh, wait. I'm going to ask him about the NPC. Why are you so worked up? Lily Grim, did you find out something about our companion? Hush. There's no reason to get worked up. As long as we keep calm and don't lose our nerve, we'll remain a step ahead of the goblins. The Traveler is right. Nothing is so urgent that it can't wait until tomorrow. <sighs> All these people are brainwashed. Okay, I'm gonna watch the fire, right? Don't worry about the fire. I'll stay up until the last of the wood has burned. Let me watch it. <sighs> are you as tired as I am? All right, put this man to sleep. gosh i got role play gamer as an achievement i was just using my intuition yawns arctages even them yawning was starting to make me sleepy 
Sir Drugalot snores. Drugal jug. Oh, if I must. Okay, Sir Drugalot slept a wonderful, heroic sleep. Druggle jug? And looked unbelievably charismatic in the process. Satisfied? Druggle jug. Okay, wonderful. Now, can I burn this firewood? You try putting the logs on the fire. Roll for sneak and hide, so Sir Druggalot doesn't wake up. Done! Nice. <laughs> the logs were in the fire. But the pressure in the cauldron still wasn't enough for something to happen. Oh, I got this. I got this under control. This is what I was waiting to do. Good! The ball was stuck. I'm about to blow this place up. Hey child, what are you doing? This noise can't possibly be good for the group harmony. Without wanting to rush you, maybe now is the time for controlled, well-considered action. If you proceed with the required calm, I'm sure you'll be able to defuse the situation before there's a disaster. Uh-uh. I really <laughs> must insist you stop making that sound. Can't you see that you're threatening to destroy the idyllic? Is my intention. Oh, wow. But that's to arms. They've declared war on us. Sound the horn. <sighs> that sound. I have to. Take it anymore. This noise is driving me crazy. I'm losing control. To arms. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even know which. Finally, the fun part of the role playing game began. The group stormed the battlefield with no restraint. They were led by Lily Goo who furiously swung her berserker sword in circles. And as the dice rolled in the institution, so did the heads of goblins in Hoth Modigor. It seems it is a good idea to occasionally vent your rage. It was a short battle. The goblins were powerless against the fury unleashed by the group. The plans of the Goblin King were thwarted. Lilligrim found the defeated monarch Cowering beneath one of the support beams of the dam. Lily. Poor, foolish Lily. That was a terrible mistake. Lilligrim was still wondering what he meant when she heard an ominous crack above her. Ah! Oh, there's a dam? Hey, would you see how he was peeled, though? When the pink floods had subsided, our heroes were faced with an incredible sight. The Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Will you look at that? I have to admit, I'm really blown away. We shouldn't be here. Ha! <laughs> You've always been quite the comedian, Snippo. No, I mean it. This valley is cursed. I heard that. Wait a second. Lily? What's wrong with her? Who is... Wait... Oh my gosh! This is everybody that she killed. Oh. <laughs> Do we get XP's now? Lily had seen the truth. I'm sure you can imagine how she felt at that moment. You can't? Oh well. Who knows what really goes on in the mind of a little girl. Uh, 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 uh. 
She's here, all right. Little girl. <coughs> He's puking. Little girl. Hello. Mm, uh, are you okay? I was worried, you know? Brrr. Am I crazy? Or did it just get colder in here? Alright. I don't know if that did anything restriction-wise. Can't really do anything. Okay, restrictions. So, oh, getting angry. We can be angry now. That was what that was. That's really interesting. I don't know what we're gonna need to be angry for. But... Um... The usually wise-ass stuffed rabbit hadn't made a sound. Maybe his feelings were hurt? I'm pretty sure I don't have the key to help Edna yet. Unless I can be so angry that I can just rip the lock off. Because that's like where my head's going with this. Oh, there's a bridge now! Wait. Is this coffee empty? The coffee was black. Just like the chasm Lily saw when she closed her eyes. Okay, so we open like the floodgates basically. Okay, let me, before I go over there, let me check over here. Let's go, girl. All right, here's his chair. Oh, there's a bow, an arrow. Lily was always happy when something was left over, but usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. I'll take this then. Anything else? No. Can I go to the forest area? No. All right. Okay, got an arrow. Lily had probably broken it for good. The chicken? All right. Let's see what I can do with this arrow. Lily had. No. Can I use this with the gate? Oh, okay. What a shame. Lily just didn't have the skills. What was the point of this? It's gotta be significant. <sighs> the door was firmly locked. What a sh- Lily- Well, can I take it back? Lily was always happy when some- But usually- Okay, th well, it's gotta be significant. I don't know- why we were just able to do that. The door was. Alright, let me just get another once over real quick over here before I wake myself up. What else is my subconscious missing? Oh, you know what? I probably have to unlock every restriction. I mean, that, that would make the most sense because this is obviously like end game. Alright, let me wake up. I wonder what and what this to I haven't felt like I had to be angry yet. The door was firmly locked. Maybe I can go back and talk to is this where that one girl is at? Put this on. Talk to her. an achievement for listening to her sing. That's pretty funny. The narrator was slow the truth. Right, right, right. I'm knitting. I'm Okay, I can't really talk to her right now. I am, I'm going to have to retrace my steps. Actually, I'm going to go talk to the players again cuz I kind of ran out of their screaming. Let's see, I talked to Adrian. He had a pot on his head and sat behind a propped up piece of cardboard. That must be that god Mother Superior so often talked about. Oh my gosh. You're certainly a brave warrioress. 
All of Hoth Motigor is in your debt. Can I get his dice? No. Lily wondered why the man looked so sad. He had such awesome friends. You? That's so depressing. I'm supposed to award experience points to improve a talent. Expressive dance, making music, lock picking. I don't actually want to be able to do any of those things. Isn't there a talent such as accepting one's fate or assigning experience points without experiencing an existential crisis? Peter's dithering made Lily furious. Couldn't the notorious whiner make even the most basic decisions? Lily would have liked to smack him across the face, but something held her back. Well, I wonder if he can give me the uh, experience points I need to be able to lockpick. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> You're right. I'll just increase pick locks, and that's it. There. Why don't you just hold on to the character sheet? I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Well, this siren that's in my neighborhood is like refusing to leave the area. I can still hear it. I know it's like down the block. Okay, anyways, um, my intuition is on point tonight. Right? I've got my, I've got my, my experience points that I needed for the lock picking. Lily wished she was as skilled as her new role-playing character. Aren't I? Oh sh! Gonna keep hitting him. <sighs> All right, I'm talking to everybody else quick. Petra. Lily had never seen such a happy girl. Lily wanted to be crazy when she grew up too. That was. Really have to play with us again sometime. So that was what turning the anger off, like turning the anger restriction on, was so I could slap that guy. What well, ridiculous! That pillow suited him much better. Druggle jug. Sure. All right, let me go back to the land of subconsciousness, and now that I got my new abilities. <sighs> Wait, I'm trying. To, I was trying to grab to Harvey. Skip, skip, skip. Ooh. Nope. Okay, so now... It sounded crazy, but she now actually had the skill to pick locks. Done. The gate was open. She wondered if... Oh! It was true! She'd opened the real gate during her trance. The path to the asylum's tower was now free. Somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. Etna! Without really thinking about it, Lily took the stuffed rabbit with her. If she was going to enter Dr. Marcel's realm, she didn't want to do it alone, like she usually did. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have just one more restriction. Doing whatever you want. All right. And the cell. Oh, it's just right there. Wow. Lily was certain this had to be the cell that Edna was being held in. Let's open that thing. The door was firmly locked. Of course. All right, who's this kid? What an ugly boy. Why someone would put up a picture like that baffled Lily. Well, that's just rude. What's behind it? Okay, we took the whole portrait. What an ugly wife. Uh, it's his name's Alfred. All right, oh, we have Harvey with us. I probably can use Harvey at, like, any time to go to the subconscious. I'm not going to try now, just in case it actually does do that. All right, storeroom. Is that the only... Oh, no. Okay. So let's go in the storeroom first. Well, yeah, let me go in the storeroom first. Oh, it's a phantom! So does he work here? Mirror. The mirror was too high, but Lily had never liked her reflection. Let's take the mirror. A termite farm. Oh, oh. awkward. Lily had destroyed the termite farm. Okay, not what I was trying to do. 
Um, a bowling ball? This bowling ball had a creepy expression, but not creepier than the little boys in the picture in the hallway. Take that. Whole bowling ball right in my pocket. Uh, what else can we take over here? Oh, this. Oh, the hook. Ah, that was the catch. I know I'm gonna have to hang up this picture or something. And then the Phantom's gonna see it and, like, I don't know, maybe it's him. Who knows? Hanging up the portrait of the ugly boy there would certainly be spooky, but something was missing. Maybe a frame? Should I put it in the mirror? Snare snow. What is. Snare snow. Oh, he's reading portrait backwards. That's kind of creepy, actually. Alright, what's missing? Bowling ball? The resemblance was striking. Oh, Harvey? The face of the boy in the picture was expressionless, like he was under hypnosis. Not even covering it up helped. Lily had seen the boy and now had to live with it. At least it all has unique, like, audio. The face of the boy in the picture was expressionless. Alright, so that's not gonna work. So, can I break the mirror with a bowling ball? Oh, oh, he's just gonna say the words backwards. Alright, no. It's missing something, though. I wonder what. Uh, I don't want him to see me. Lunchbox? Who's gonna see me? Somebody had left their lunchbox. Oh. That would never happen to Lily. She didn't have a lunchbox. I guess he doesn't care. Honey pancakes? The smell of the honey pancakes reminded Lily of the funny story with the turns. Freeman. You take them. Rotten, nasty pancakes. Alright, what about this clothes rack? The clothes rack reminded Lily of the old man from the school. Did that really happen today? Well, this is all in one day? Oh, man. Okay, I guess we can talk to the Phantom now? The Phantom looked depressed, but Lily noticed something else. A key ring. Was that the key to Edna's cell? Oh, he's been had that. Okay. Guess he's not gonna choke us anymore? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm a hopeless case. Father was right. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm Ruben, Dr. Marcel's secret second son, Alfred's older brother. This not Lily surprise didn't me. know who Alfred was, but she still thought it was appropriate to catch her breath in shock. We were supposed to have the perfect upbringing. Pops thought traditional methods were inadequate. That's why he began developing his own, while Alfred responded to his practices. I developed conspicuous behavior. I was a failed experiment. Pops was so disappointed that he kept me in the asylum cellar, hidden from the outside world. Alfred, on the other hand, was presented as a shining example of his parenting methods. I never had a chance to make him proud of me. Since Alfred died, everything just got worse. I'm invisible to him. A ghost, a bad dream. The strange circumstances surrounding Alfred's death showed him that childishness is a disease that needs to be eradicated. I should have died back then. If I could only see my brother one more time, I never got to say goodbye to him. Hey, that's pretty sad. You know? Like, it's actually really depressing. Um, alright, so I've got the picture of his brother, but I doubt that I could just hand it to him. Because he's probably walked past it in the hallway. Oh, it's him! <laughs> It's my brother, Alfred. Oh, Alfred. I still have so much to tell you. How did he not see this portrait in the hallway this whole time? Because he's obviously left his room. All right, um, maybe I can hang the ghost costume up on the clothes rack? As long as the clothes rack didn't have a head, the sheet only loosely hung on it. Can I put the bowling ball? Obviously, I'm a genius. Bowling ball on the clothes rack. On top of the clothes rack, the bowling ball looked like a skull, but something was missing. I know exactly what's missing now. I'll put the sheet over the bowling ball so it looks like a human. Lily shuddered. Suddenly, there was a ghost in the storeroom. What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. If anybody's gonna do any haunting here, it's me. Beat it. If you see Alfred. <laughs> Tell him to haunt round this way sometime. I never got to say goodbye to him. Oh, it's sad you can see the, the tear marks on his paper bag head. Okay, 
Um, now I'm going to put the face of Alfred up. Yes. Wait, wait, I, oh, I can't. I can't put, um, well, okay, well, can I hang his portrait up now on the hook? That's weird. Hanging up the portrait of the ugly boy there would certainly be spooky, but something was missing. All right, okay, we were on a roll. We were. Oh, uh, what can I do with this nasty honey pancakes? I can't really... Okay, I don't know why we're able to do that. I don't know. Is it, does it have to be sticky? Is that why? Hanging up the portrait, but some. Okay, something was missing. I just hung up pancakes on there. A mirror. Oh, I can swap them out. This is so weird. Hanging up, but. Why can't I hang these up? All right, I'm gonna keep looking around. I'll come back in a minute. Maybe I need something in the, in another room. Uh, office door. Do not disturb sign. Please don't disturb. Well, Lily was an expert at that. She could stand on the sidelines for hours without anyone noticing her. Alright, can I take it? Cool. Moonshine. Lily could stare at the moon for hours, but she didn't like it. Terrible things tended to happen. Oh, we're doing like a really like we're doing I, I have another idea okay Let's hook on the door ah that was the catch All right. office door this had to be dr. Marcel's office Lily thought she heard faint raspy breathing behind the door I wonder if I should go in now the door was firmly locked okay no glad we got that out the way all right so I can hang up more here I don't know if I should hang up the portrait or the mirror all right, so the portrait's not just hanging there. But I feel like I should take this and hang the mirror there. That is my, that was my first guess. Lily understood the, even if it's some. Oh, yeah, no, I'm trying to hang it up on the. All right, see, we're getting somewhere. Lily could stare at the moon for hours, but she didn't like it. Terrible things tend to happen. Is this gonna, like, be a projector kind of thing? I don't know how this would work. Oh yeah, the termites! Are they gonna, like, eat through the door? Anytime soon? Oh, they- that's right! They have to probably eat the honey! Oh, I'm smart. Watch. Huh? Noteworthy. The termites scarf all the pancakes and eat a hole through the door in the process. How am I a genius? Who have I become? Alright. Now I will hang the portrait and it'll cast a reflection. This is crazy. What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. If anyone's gonna be haunting around here, then. Alfred? Alfred, it's really you. I. I can't believe it. Oh, Alfred. I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> and I have so much I still want to tell you. Where to begin? Oh yeah, I know. You lousy, dirty toad! Because of you, I've lived my whole life in a stinking sewer! Just you wait. I forgot about his murderous intent. Well, he... You know, he's busy, so I'm gonna take these off his hands. Phantom. Reuben was finally able to say goodbye to his brother. Deeply moving. The clothes rack reminded Lily to that really ha You disgusting, slimy toad! If you weren't dead already, I'd wring your neck now! Lily thought it was best not to disturb the phantom. It should take all the time it needs to say goodbye to its brother. Yeah, um, I'm really glad he was able to get some closure. I'm gonna go and break it too. Oh, I guess I should take the mirror now. Or the mirror was too high, but Lily had never liked her reflection. Wait, I can't take the mirror anymore? Alright, let me 
break into his office first, since he's right here. Lily wanted to be very careful. Damn. It seemed that there was already a key in the keyhole on the other side of the door. Wow, I can't even break it. Okay, let me go get Aunt Edna then. She's really what we've been doing. Like, our whole mission in life in this game has been to help her for whatever reason. Um... Lily! Oh. oh, thank goodness. We were so worried that they had gotten you too. The doctor has completely lost his mind. He wants to turn us all into mindless puppets. Just look at what he's done to Mother Superior. Oh, hello, Lily. Nice to see you. But what are you doing here in the middle of the night? Did the other students make you do this? They are such naughty children. You, on the other hand, were always so good. So good. I'm sorry that I was always so strict with you. But now, thanks to Dr. Marcel, I'm a good child too. Come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me embroider the dolls for the doctor. Just ignore her. Please concentrate on finding a way to get us out of here. We have to split before the doctor... Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> I finally caught you. I was hoping you'd show up here. I can use all the help I can get to speed up production of my hypnosis dolls. Soon, I'll be delivering them across the entire world. And then, naughty children will become the stuff of fairy tales. Once I've subjected you to my improved hypnotherapy, Nothing can stop me. <laughs> I can't believe what he did to Mother Superior, though. She looks like she's aged like 30 years. Really sad. All right, so we locked in here. Lily was trapped. What happened to the key ring I had, though? She just left it in the door? All right, there's stuff here, though. What is this on the floor? This looks like something. No, just a bunch of Harvey dolls. Dr. Marcel was planning to go into mass production. It makes me think of Monkey Bone. Have you ever seen that amazing movie where he, uh, like, the, the monkey doll thing, like, switches places with Stu, and then he, like, tries to mass produce all these, like, little dolls that have, like, that nightmare gas in it so that they can bring nightmares to that, like, coma town. Um, that's what I was thinking of this whole time. Okay. You must not contradict the doll. I mean, not right now, but hold on. It appeared that Mother Superior was under the influence of Dr. Marcel's hypnosis. That means she wouldn't be much help. Lily caught herself wishing the old, strict Mother Superior was back. Can I not hip hypnotize her? Then, come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me embroider the dolls for the doctor. We are good little children. So good. It appeared that Mother Superior... Yes. That means she... Lily... Alright, she's not gonna be able to help me. Oh, what's in this trash can? Lily hesitated. Usually, she waited until Mother Superior was gone before she rummaged through the garbage. But Lily was running out of options. But what was that? Were they... Eyes? In the garbage can? Oh, there's a needle. Lily liked needles. One time, she even secretly took one from home economics class. She kept it stashed in her mattress and only took it out at night when everyone was sleeping. Oh. You must not use sharp objects. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, like, maybe turn these off one at a time. Use sharp objects. Alright. Got the needle. What else? Oh, what's the stitching? The upholstery was torn. What had happened here? Right. I'm gonna talk to Garrett real quick. Edna and Garrett were tied up. Lily was on her own once again. Um... You have to get us free, Lily. I think Mother Superior has a knife to cut the threads. Unfortunately, she can't use it while she's hypnotized. If only we could somehow get her out of her trance. Okay. Edna and Garrett were tied up. Lily was... Oh, yeah. Um... I'm so happy to see you, Lily. I'd give you a hug, but... Oh, well. This wool version of an H.R. Geiger nightmare is 
It's sort of restricting my movements. Can we postpone this touching reunion scene until later? First, we need a plan for how to get down from here. Your mama needs a plan. <laughs> my mother has a plan. For example, to convey me a sense of reality. What's your mother's plan? Oh, I forgot. You no longer have any parents. Oh, that's me. Really me. Um... What? Oh, Lily is right. We should concentrate on getting out of here. Agreed. <laughs> Twit. <coughs> okay. First thing I'm gonna do, actually, is... Well, wait a second. How are we doing? Dr. Marcel. You must not... Okay. I'm gonna see if I can rip the seam off with... Wait, I have... I, I don't even remember picking up these eyes. Were they... Eyes? I don't even remember picking those up. Okay. I'm gonna try to rip the seam off. It had already been sewn. Oh, I was gonna use the rip the seam off. Okay. Um, maybe I can put the old Harvey's eyes on this Harvey? Lily had an idea. She knew she couldn't sew very well, but maybe it was good enough to give Harvey back his old eyes. However, something was missing to implement this plan. Uh, this needle? Lily, she knew, but maybe, however. What, the, I have all the, I have the yarn. Lily, she knew, but maybe, right, however, what am I missing? some only scraps were still in there now. What am I missing? What else does he need? The usually wise maybe is be uh... strange. The silly rabbit didn't even react to Lily's ball of wool. Lily had she knew, but maybe it was good enough. However, perfect. Oh. Lily now had a needle and thread. It was that simple. Okay, interesting. Lily had an idea. She knew oh, okay. she could make she gonna make it make it look like I'm a dumb person. Oh, I did it! I got a Harvey sewing kit. The first stitch had been made. Never mind. I don't never doubt yourself. Okay. Harvey. Lily hesitated. Why? She'd often been told that she wasn't very good with a needle and thread. But what did she have to lose? She was just going to have to chance it. What are you doing? Stop that. You're hurting me. You must not use sharp objects. You have. You have. Oh. Have to scratch my fuzzy butts. <laughs> I can hardly uh. believe it! I'm my old self! <laughs> Harvey? Is it really you? <laughs> and there's... there's Edna! Come on! Go, go, go! Let's set fire to something! And fly to the moon! Just so we can eat it up! Go for it, Lily! What are you waiting for? Let's tear this joint apart! Yippee! Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna use the harpy with the old eyes to not have my whole entire computer freeze. Um, to try to hypnotize Mother Superior. Could Lily help Mother Superior overcome her mental blocks this way? Shaking, she pulled the string. It don't hurt to try. Hypnotized too. Oh no, not chess. <laughs> hey Lily, you're here too. Cool. What's that? Some kind of fight? Less talking, more fighting. Oh, this is this is like turn-based battle where like literally are you kidding me? Select the Berserker Harvey. Alright. Oh my gosh, we're in an RPG game right now. Okay, um, attack. Uh, I'm gonna go for Mother Superior. Can I attack her? Select the sacrifice, beat the dragon. Beat just Tishia. Oh, I, I can't, she's, she's not a playable character. Okay, I'll go for the uh, dragon. Spider protective allies. Oh, we gotta kill him first. 
Okay. Oh wait, they killed- he, he died! That fast? Location Harvey. Alcohol Harvey. I'm gonna try to fire Harvey on the... Oh, wait, wow. Okay, wait, okay. Oh, they're not dead. I just- I've already used him. That's what that means. Okay, I'm tripping. Alright, let me see what kind of magic we got. I gotta kill this spider. The spider warded off the attack. Are you kidding? What kind of combos can I use? Wait, the close combat attack lightsaber causes more damage. Let me use it. I can't use it right now, or what? I cannot believe that this is a thing. Okay. Alright, let me try it. Wait. A state of intoxication lets Harvey act three times. Am I doing this right? Are you kidding? Alright, try this again. Propaganda lets an opponent attack his allies twice and blocks him. Why would that happen? I'm not gonna do that, that's stupid. What other combos do we have? Border guard protects up to three harpies. Propaganda lets an opponent attack. Okay. Alright, they all have different. They all have different magics too, I guess. Oh, okay, make a barrage. I want to be able to attack three times though. Select an ally. Oh, the one with the gun. Warded off the attack. Oh man. Wait, so I can't use any of these combos on this stupid spider. I should just go for straight physical damage. I don't think any, any of my Harveys know, like, healing abilities like that. Okay, he's almost dead. Hopefully they don't, they don't have any, like, Phoenix Down type stuff where they can just bring someone back to life. Okay, the spider's dead. Wait, I can't attack. if I try to escape. It's not- I can't attack. Why can't I... I can't... Wait. Now it's your turn. Select one of your harvest figures on the right side, then an action from the list at the bottom left. And finally, where it should be executed. Read the instructions in the action window to decide which action you want to use. Each Harvey can normally move once each round, but be careful. Them their Harvey demons will put up a fight. That's it? I can't even attack anymore. But, but, Lily! You're giving up? <laughs> As expected. But, <laughs> you can't beat me in my own trance. What? I didn't want to give up. None of my creatures were dead, but it wouldn't let me... That was unfair. Lily would have won that fight. How was she ever supposed to break down Mother Superior's blocks if the referee keeps interfering? Uh, how is the referee interfering? Gosh, okay, there's gotta be another way then. I'm back! Can I use one Garrett? Knock, knock. Who's there? Garrett. Garrett who? Garrett Wire. It's what I wish I had to get out of here. <laughs> <clears throat>
<laughs> so now he's just annoying. All right, what about on Edna? Harvey? Is it really you? Edna! Yeah, it's me. I'm my old self. No, no, no. Even better. I'm the new, improved Harvey. Look, I've got a string. Please pull on it, Billy. You shouldn't save the fart sounds until after dinner. Well, I don't know if that's an improvement. You haven't pulled it after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harvey, you're really back to your old self. No, Carissimo. But you seem a bit stiff. Do you have a new hat? I'm tied up, Harvey. Ah, I see. I see. Since when do you bother about tiny little things like that? We've had to deal with a lot worse things than that before. Exactly. So help Lily to get us out of here, okay? She's really good at stuff like that. She's my best friend. Ha! You wish. Lily is in fact my best friend. <laughs> Have you almost got it? If you don't mind, I think we should let Lily find a way out. Before the doctor comes back. Before the doctor gets back. Yeah, yeah, okay. <coughs> Party mover. <coughs> Okay, there's gotta be another way then. Uh, I wonder if Harvey can interact. Dr. Marcel was playing. Oh, can can interact with the other dolls. If that will do anything. Hey guys! And you must never follow your own wishes. Huh? What a bunch of nuts! How can you look so good and yet still be so stupid? I wonder what happens if I try to put him in the trash. Look! An apple bucket! Ugh. Okay then, but when all of our apples get mushy, it'll be your fault. What is an apple bucket? What about in the seam? Look, Lily! A rip in the cushion that's been sewn! If we make ourselves really small, we can make it out! Uh-uh. But... but... no? Uh-uh. Ah, shucks. Okay. And... Last but not least, cell door. How so? There wasn't even a keyhole. Ugh. Wait, so how can I beat Mother Superior? What, what am I missing? I wonder if there's a certain restriction. Contradicting adults, maybe? They said the referee keeps interfering. So... I wonder... I'm gonna try this. I don't know. Let's try this again. Alright. I gotta kill the spider. Oh, the spider protects its allies, allies with, like, the protectability, I think. I mean, I wasn't- when I was playing, I didn't have a problem with, like, HP. Alright, who's healing them? I guess I could tr try the combos again. Oh, I can't- not if they've already attacked though, I guess. I'll try magic on someone else. Select an ally. I don't even know what his magic does. Wait, what? Heal a Harvey. Oh, okay, heal a Harvey. Okay, that's the one that has healed him. Okay. Give an opponent to fight for you for a while? What's that even mean? Oh, what's 
this? The snowman protects against all heat, fire and heat attacks. The spider protects against shooting attacks. Oh, it shows you what things it's used. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm catching on. I'll, I should wait until the protect wears off, though, because it's... I need to kill that snowman. Alright, now the shooting attack thing is gone, so we should be able to shoot the snowman. Dragon. Ah, oh, the snowman- wait, the snowman is protecting against the shooting attacks? Oh, all, all fire and heat attacks, okay. get another chance. Motivate a Harvey to act again. I'm gonna have to heal the Berserk one. It's not looking so great. Oh wow, the fire one has... Oh, he's almost dead. Still can't really use fire attacks because of the stupid snowman. Hopefully he doesn't die. Before I get a chance to heal him. Oh wait, what am I talking about? I get to decide who gets to go first. Alright, I'm gonna heal the fire one. Oh, that barely did anything. But better than nothing, I guess. so he couldn't attack. Okay. Um, I'm gonna heal again. I think they hate that fire, Harvey. Alright, this guy's gotta die. So I can at least try the shooting attack one time. Okay, finally. Try this thing. Oh no, he's he's already used his turn. Oh, the close combat lightsaber it causes more damage. Okay, I'll try this then. Who's the one that's healing? Justicia? say you really don't want any of your Harveys to die. I can't believe only a, out of all these Harveys only one can do healing. That's ridiculous. strategy. Wait, what is it? What is this combo? Has anybody else died? Okay, no. Okay, we cannot let the healer die. Let me kill this. I shouldn't have used him to uh, do that, actually. Alright, who else is close to dying? 
nobody this this Wendigo. Yo, we don't stand a chance. Like, not to be pessimistic or whatever, but it's hard to remember. There's so many of them, like all their moves. The healing one is dead. This sucks. <laughs> Their attacks are so... Like a few people who are alive. I don't want to have to do this again. I'm really gonna have to escape. You won! Yippee! No, it can't be, you damn rabbit. You were supposed to make sure she would stick to the rules. She can't just do whatever she wants. Of course. Riot! But we need rules! Otherwise. Otherwise. <laughs> Wait, are you kidding me? This is an option? I can just skip the whole thing? I wonder what happens if you do win, though. Because I'm pretty sure you can win this. With a good strategy. Oh my gosh! Seven Harveys. Oh, wait, no. Eight Harveys. That really took me by surprise. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I didn't press escape again. Mother Superior's behavioral blocks had been removed. Had Lily made a mistake? Was Mother Superior once again as strict and vindictive as before? But even as Lily thought about such things, Mother Superior started weeping uncontrollably. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. I've completely forgotten what it's like to be a child. All the unfair rules. <coughs> All the restrictions. <coughs> oh, Lily. What have I done to you? Bravo, Lily. Now we have her where we want her. Take the knife from her so you can finally cut us loose. Okay. I got an achievement. Hair scare. Mother Superior, I mean... Lily had often seen Mother Superior desperate, but never crying. Um... <coughs> what have I done? Mother Superior was unresponsive. How could Lily take the knife from her while she was crying so hard? Um, do we have a handkerchief? I'm not gonna hypnotize her again. So she's, she's just not gonna take the knife. We need that knife. <laughs> Lily wanted to cry along with her. Was there any way to comfort Mother Superior? I guess I could give her Harvey again, but I don't want to hypnotize her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, isn't that cute? Do you think I could hold it? Mm. But, 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 Lily, what are you up to? Do you really want to give me to Mother Superior? I mean, she could do with a bit of pizzazz in her life, from the looks of it. But I thought the two of us are friends. We could try so many things. Come on, let's light a few things on fire. Or talk with Edna. Or build something crazy out of different stuff. <laughs> or, or, do you really want to give me the Mother Superior? 
Oh, this is an option. Yeah. Bye. Uh huh. Really? Really? Uh huh. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Lily. <gasps> How can I ever make this up to you? Give me the knife. I'm sure you want something to make up for it. Don't you? <laughs> Yo, I don't trust her. I'm getting kind of like creeped oh, out. Unfortunately, this knife is all I have. Do you think it would be enough? Uh-huh. Wonderful. <gasps> oh, thanks for everything. Lily. Well done. If you carry on like this, I can imagine hiring you as a deputy someday. Or I could hire you as a cosmonaut's assistant, which is even cooler than a deputy. Whatever. Just please, cut us loose, fast. Then we'll figure it out. I've already come up with a plan. I'm sure you know the story of the girl who ran away from Dr. Marcel's asylum long ago. The same girl that pushed him down the stairs that same night. Well, I never told you this, but that girl was me. Is that what? Is a wheelchair? Yeah, and that's why I know my way around here so well. Behind the cushion over there is the famous ventilation shaft that I used for my escape back then. We'll be free in no time at all. We'll have to get past Dr. Marcel's office first, but, um, Lily? Is something wrong? Come on, Lily. Cut us loose. Uh-oh. What? What's going on? You're not going to do something stupid, are you? Lily, where are you going? Lily! Lily! What? What? Wait, what is this? She gonna kill him? They giving me- They are not about to make me do this. Are you kidding me? Are you sure that's what you want to do? <laughs> Excellent. I knew right away that you're dangerous. The other children, those were accidents. But now, you're here with a sharp knife, ready to kill a helpless old man. You might feel well, but the truth is, you're sick. Very sick. You need my help. You don't believe me, do you? You think you're doing all this for Edna's sake. Oh, Lily. There's something you should know about your friend. She doesn't exist. There was a girl called Edna once. You probably once heard about her. But the girl that you know is nothing more than a figment of your imagination. An attempt to escape your friendless life at the convent. You think I'm lying, right? Because there's someone else who can also see Edna. Let me guess. A priest, perhaps? No. A policeman, right? The manifestation of a higher authority. When you thought that Edna was in danger, your subconscious invented him, too, to legitimize defying Mother Superior's rules and helping your friend. Just ask her yourself. They're here. They're a part of you, Lily. Oh, Lily. I'm sorry. The doctor's right, Lily. You're just imagining us. Now put the knife away. The game is over. Wonderful. <laughs> what? Finally, you see the truth. All the reasons that brought you here in the middle of the night, armed with a knife. None of them were real. Now put the knife on the desk. I'll hypnotize you immediately. Only my therapy can heal you. Unfortunately, He's right, Lily. Don't do it. Put the knife away, Lily. Be a good girl and do what you're told. Lily was close to tears. She'd only just learned not to always do what she's told. And now it was supposed to be all wrong? While the others were talking to her, another voice kept getting louder. A voice that told her, Continue. Continue. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. Obviously, I'm gonna have to stab this man. Contradict? I'm gonna stab him. Lily had no intention of undergoing therapy. She never felt so free before. She could decide for herself what was right and wrong. 
Slowly, she raised the knife. No. Lily! No! No! Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story is... You can do whatever you want, oh, no. as long as you keep your free will. Even if it means stabbing an old man in a wheelchair to death. The end. Oh my gosh. I didn't see another option, okay? Plus, this man's abusive, kidnapping kids and even adults, alright? He's... He had to be stopped, alright? I mean, yeah, well... Um... <laughs> Woohoo, we beat this game, yay! Well, I hope you in enjoyed this playthrough as much as I did. Apparently, there's multiple endings to it this game. It seems like oh. you need to be solaced. Telling from the scratch on your knee. I don't like talking through songs. You fell and got hurt in the process. And now you come crying to me. I catered for these circumstances and hands carry needle and stitch in my pants. Don't worry, my dear, there is nothing to fear. Just a stitch and a sew. Soon it's almost as new. And the cop will appear after all you have to admit it is not as severe. to watch children bleed well don't give me that kind of look now just keep going on soon you will see how everything will end well though it still may depend on your skill Catered for these circumstances and hands carry needle and stitch in my pants. But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead. If you're clumsy and plump and all fingers and thumbs, it might just turn out bad, especially when it comes to delicate operations like that. Stand to watch children bleed. I guess I should revise my statement. The wound is not going to heal. Forget about all that I said and work harder on your stitching skill. I catered for these circumstances and hands carry needles. Stitch in my pants. Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill. And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing. Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying. I merely was trying to help. I can't stand to watch children bleed. I really like that song. <laughs> Yay! It always feels good to be the game. And 
uh, I really enjoyed this one. <laughs>